Welcome, everyone. This is our live session, the Itala Edu Platform session. Join us on our website for more videos on all lessons that we have. Today, we are introducing to you English. We've got a poem called What Life is Really Like. Mr. Sibia is going to take us through it. Hope you're going to enjoy it. Call on, on all your friends, uh, other learners. It's going to be a, a, a wonderful session. Please do enjoy. And if you have more questions, do leave them on the comments. We will answer them as proficiently as possible. Thank you. Ms. Subia, over to you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon. Great talk, learners. Um, this is Ms. Subia. We'll be doing uh, the poem, What Life is Really Like. A poem Beverly by Croft. Um, this poem Ikulumange father daughter relationship. So, if it's a father daughter relationship, Ndotagazi no Baba. Ubaba is trying to teach Ndotagazi Waike of how to, 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 to toughen up in life. We can say, because when we do a poem, or a poetry, we use our inferences. Like in this case, we can say, Ubaba, maybe, yeah, in his mind, why if you know, and then what I couldn't say, okay, now he, the way he treated, who um, treat her like he is, is treating a, a boy because he tells her, Guti, life is tough, you need to toughen up. You have to roll with the punches and all that. Okay, looking at the poem, Jobang Shilu with a Ubaba and Dotara as a relationship. The poem is a lyric poem, and if I lay in a free verse, in a mass stanzas, our eight, Nini a lyric poem, grade 12. A lyric poem is so they express, is so they convince the writer's personal feelings in a very direct way. Shoot in Jena or Omunda, so we a feeling ayo. So a poet, the person or or story is the daughter. She relives. We are we are But when she, when I mean she relives, she also kuluma gets the desert and dega in her life when she was growing up in her childhood. And my experience is I get no babo I get ubut and we we are in the Thailand journey according to we 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 I'm prepared. For in life ahead, which in pillo in journey, as the family as she grows up, in job is cool. So it behave like towards her. It when when the poem it it changes. It has changed after u u u u u u girl. It's the same dala. It's the same dala man. She in job she lose. She relives. Ukulu mangento ends again the past. Now it has changed because now she 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 has to go through in life. And then Ukrina again was the one that the operation because she she, she became sick of an cancer of the breast, and so the breast had to be removed. So she returns home after a severe special, and then she discovers my severe ekaya. But his attitude yake has changed. He's no longer that harsh, but now even when he dresses her wound, like that a a a suso kona breast, even in the attitude that Baba K has changed. You need to toughen up life. We have to roll with the punches. You know, I with boxing ring bella. So they have to roll with the punches. That's what he, he used to teach it. So we are looking at the poem. Masi analyzing it. This poem. What life is really like. Put in Pino Injan. When we look at uh, the, the in the first stanza, Ubaba, we are instructor in the Tarazia who she needs to toughen up. We am telling you, this is what you need to do, and this is what you need to expect in life. Who's the woman sister? Uh, when we move to standard two, three, and four, what, 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 what does it do? We are, we am seven days. We my real life situations. We go to one. We am assist among the family and women who get family the corner, young as she is, and then uh, up in the foot among the pigeon. Yeah, I take a day, it's up by a hook. Or yes, 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 
we am tata for to we am put a guy bam and then you know what it, what it does it stitches it and then who, who stands a five oh and then who either who say reduce to lower case why because now who the emphasis over the emote decision team because the girl is uh vulnerable so um she has to what ha what she has been expecting all over all these years section two because it's now only that she realizes what she experience later in life when she falls in then you're going to die in like what ha she has been waiting for has finally happened and then ustanza ustanza six is a stand alone stanza where Ubaba addresses the wound, the Achilles, the SM Pandisha phone. And we are going to go to the way he dresses the wound. I start finding his cat at him address when she was still young. And then stand the seven, Lana, I guess we are given a detailed description. See a cello now in, in, in detail to go to Baba of what does he do? He does this in silence. Aga Kulumi, when she dresses the wound, Lara, the ends work on operation uh, for, for, for a cancer. Yeah, he dresses the wound in silence and he's no longer allowed and he's no longer insensitive like he, he was before. Then stanza eight consists only of two lines. Two lines, life is a bastard, toughen up. What does it show? It shows what to Baba okay? Uh, uh, is no longer uh, like what he was before. Okay, I will just read the poem so that we go through the poem before send the matins in a tone in a mood. It's a long poem, but I'll try and be quick. What life is really like? You, you need to toughen up. My father would, would uh, complain when I was when I was small, I ought to take you to see ch uh, ch chickens having their heads chopped off. Now I'm telling you, when you stand in the ham, the ham I'm going to go to the chickens. Uh, that, that, that will teach you what life is really like. It's going on to stand at home. He'd seek me out. Um, he took me out when uh, none of when one of his pigeons prayed for home, prayed for home, uh, uh, met with uh, terror, and then when the pigeon was attacked by the the, the, the hawks, and then when the pigeon was attacked by a hawk, the abalega it is is the shy is the we fence and then uh, uh, illiman. And then what does the father do? We are busy. Which she must come abambelele, and then she would try. He would try and stitch it up. Okay. And then moving on, he says, um, uh, and she says, I was the one, the poet, who okay, which I was the one made to clench uh, my palms around. She's funny like Bambela, who was in in the mood. Who was Baba? I was going to chant to stitch it. So life, uh, you see, life is a fight for survival. Baba comes in life, we have to, 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 to be tough or survive. And then it shows now go to Baba he feels maybe in his wishes he wanted to have a um, a son but now no girl there's nothing he can do so this uh, also when i was reading this poem doing nothing i come out and i took because i'm a twin with my brother but he's late so when we grew up we used to fight a lot and sister banani because we're still very young so my mother would say uh Mina and so you can get in but also should go outside fight. Also should I mean in some shy. And I felt like Uma was being harsh to me because of shooting a way as to tell him the But I think in a way, Genjelayaki, it was a way of teaching me which now I need to toughen up as a girl. And that is why I mean I don't fear anything. So, but the law it affected me in a way because now Stuna said, Give more close to my father than to my mother because I'm not but it's now when I look at life now when I relive like this uh, this poet would this is how life is okay looking at the themes of the poem and the first theme 
first it told her that it's his, you could say it's cruelty. Why is cruelty? Because the Ubaba believes that life is hard. And as he believes with him, in Zima, Uyazama to make his child away of the harshness of life. For what I'm tired say at a Benzizinto when she goes a Hambinaye chopping the, chi the, the chickens, uh, stitching the, the, the pigeons and all that. And also <laughs> another thing we can say, another thing is it all like it is faith. You know, if faith, if faith decides our destiny, when we talk about if faith, if faith is, is part of the life where we're not as a human being, you cannot act in any way which will change the outcome of what, of what was to happen. So, like I would make an example. We faith in a okay, Lusani Lewalinda waiting. She says, I waited in anticipation. Ulo can indeed, Ulin do what's corner pillar. Ufulu one of this type life, and Genzeg is this low and Zega in the end when she has to go for operation because she has got the cancer. So if it's in challenge, if it's, uh, it might happen, we would say, earlier on in life, you meet somebody. You were destined to continue even I together, but if fate in separate and told what you go separate ways, and then eventually, after some time, then you get back. It was fate that brought us together. So if fate is something that which is part of life, I was with this idea when I'm done. That is another thing. A touch, we can say uh, it is psychology of growing up. Why? I'm an example I need you when I read poem. Life is a bastard. Yes, maybe you need to toughen up. Finally, opening, preparing you for what? But now, Obama, she was, he was preparing her with a resilient. What is irresilient in Gwenzenjan? It is ability to was to recover from an unpleasant or damaging event. So, women would actually not be prepared for whatever that could could come her way, no matter to a in a figure in particular, but I be ready, would ash at I be I be ready to face the cruelty of of this gender that can come to her life. Okay, and then it tone. How is the tone of this poem? It tone when the poem begins. Baba, it's like uh, you need to toughen up. You need to toughen up. That is the first line in the poem in the first stanza. So it begins with uh, uh, it's serious. It's serious in Jalo. It is also cautionary. Imam Koshina Umundu, who is the woman who is the name, who is the Bimba, who is the girl who is the What is it that is expected of her or him? So it told that it is uh, first, it is serious, it is cautionary. But eventually, as the poem is covered, eventually, Guna 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 let on your resignation. Utuba when he realizes what he umdana umdana has has had to go through his child because Uben can't. So Uze Ukuluma Uze Uti the poet. It was like it just like was being bulldozed. Now the bulldozer. People those among other like people those are it's like in terms of figure A, you try to figure it through those a young king. So she she feels like now nah, her chest was full dosed dungeon because they had to take off a breast because of the preventer would see inga inga the inga 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 spread to the other to the other breast okay and then uh in mood how is the mood of the poem in mood we can say in the mood of the anticipation when you anticipate something you are forever waiting and because she says uh, forever waiting for life to deal me to deal me a blow so she is waiting in anticipation with who's on wednesday we are coming in bed we are cool on wednesday loot until way back in the end that i said to it's a telephone which life has dealt here a severe blow because man she's a panel in the jam it's a panel at address or bob work and uber working at the address at the wound in foundation all that he is very quiet. He does this in a quiet way, which is very strange because there's cut some address and there's a column. There is a, a, a part in that other in it. Ubaba can he would address him in Azut Ukuluma with the students. 
my students are, and then that is where we see I told you, maybe Baba he was a professor or, or, or a lecturer in the city because she said he would, he would address me like he was addressing uh, his students in a lecture hall or he was giving it in oral address. So Siamboni Baba Kuti might have been a professor in a university or a lecturer. Okay, so, but in the end, what happens is if fate has dealt her it low, but in the end, eventually, she has to go through the surgery. And then, she, I guess, she, she knew another side of Uba Wag. She knew another side of Uba Wag. Uba Wag was tough, Uba Wag was serious, Uba Wag was not allowed. But in the end, that is cut, it's a promise for them. That is when she sees the other side of Ubaba could know he's not that uh harsh man he, he has this uh soft side yeah okay when when he he dresses uh he won't like sm sees a corner with uh i'm dressed there he won't yeah okay and then um well and then we'll go and and, and check uh We'll check uh and it's a poem if it's a poem or a short story or whatever. What we need to do, we are giving an extract. We are giving an extract, and then the extract when as a learner or as a student, you, you need to to shoot finally or fun the young the poem or a special story because oh, my questions, my questions are so get a from the, the questions are, are from the the, the 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 story, the short story or the poem. So you have to know young get in the words was what can you get your oats and the short stories of the paragraph. You have to, to 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 read everything. The same thing applies to a poem as well because Lana, they've given you the whole poem. So now when as a learner, what you have to do is you have to try and answer our questions but our questions they are not only based uh we, we, we they are not only based we 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 stand as sort our questions they are based in the whole uh poem or in the whole uh thing the, or, 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 okay let's look at the questions you know there is an extract they gave you the whole poem so when what what you need to do is you need to answer our questions that uh, have to do with the poem. The first question is, give two reasons why this poem can be described as a, a free verse. You say a poem is a free verse. A free verse, it is written. It's just a free verse. I'm online to the uneven and uh, there is no rhyme scheme at the end of each stanza. So it is just a free verse. So the first question is, give two reasons why the poem is described as a free verse. One, it is a free verse, Joban Shiluguti, Aina Rhyme Scheme, Aina Rhyme Scheme, and it is just, I'm lines now, but they are not even. And then the number two, it refer to, to stanza one, to stanza one, to stanza three. Name two events that the father uses as examples to, to teach his child that life is tough. You might my examples out to our nigga Yuba. Eyo kala ibi example ile when he calls her, ugut agese when she when he chops the the, the, the chicken head. That is that shoot la number one you can say the the kala end when. Excuse me, in the when a a a a a a a farm or in a country country life was talks about chickens, it talks about pigeons and all. So the Amma life event out too, you like when he chops the, the, the chicken head, you want to get another point. And also another one is where he teaches the pigeon. When she had to hold the chest, right and then uh the next question 
the next question is uh, number three, Putin. Oh, okay. Putin refer to lines 11 to 12. Great for home. Terra from A. Identify the pickle of speech used here when the pigeon was grazing for home. Pickle of speech used here is a metaphor. Grace for home, it's a metaphor. It can also be a personification because like it is a and then Betty explain why this figure of speech is relevant in the poem. Nindaba irrelevant figure of speech in the poem. It is relevant, Ganjan. It describes in Jobang Tai Yenzuesaman personification. It describes in, it describes the the agitated state in the Agati Yoni Pigeon. When Gati Balega each a poverty is like umundo over the attack of a kitchen my air will be a can. And then refer to to standard three to quote one weight that proves the pigeon was not coming home slowly who's the ganjan what is the weight and when they say quote we have to use the quotation marks the inverted commas that's uh, the, 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 what is the weight it tumble tumbling so the weight is tumble and if it says quote then you have to use that the quotation mark moving on number four Refer to line uh, 38. The trip from my the trip from my bulldoze chest. So I choose the correct answer to complete the following sentence. The the trip from the bulldoze chest. So but nigga ama 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 options of four. The first one is uh the trip from a bulldoze chest. The one is the first one is alliteration. Alliteration. The second one is um. Okay. Alliteration on the moron. And then the third one is A, alliteration B on the moron. And then C, onomatopoeia. And then the other one is metaphor, which is the correct answer. The, the correct answer is a, it's metaphor, which is uti. All right. Number five, refer to stanza four. What tone would the father use in stanza four when he says you need to toughen up? It is serious. It's a serious tone. It is a stern tone. It's a serious tone. It's a serious tone. It's a stern tone. You need to toughen up. And then the, the next question is, why would the father use this tone in the stance? We said in the tone, the tone, the tone, the serious. He is... Uh, he must be she must be stronger and the fact and 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 also besides being stronger she must be able to face the challenges in life i was with melana she needs she needs to understand what life is hard in pillow in zima okay Moving on, but to refer to stanza five. Stanza five, la eti ukel. I waited and waited, and years and years passed on. But enga ibo ni lento gati show baba kuti life behind. So the question is, what is the significance significance of who I being used as a lowercase? Who I I waited upalo as a lowercase lines thirty to thirty five. Why upalo in a lowercase? Why? Because uh, it, 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 it portrays a feeling of being defenseless. She is defenseless. Otherwise, 
and Uselila Ulindin because Baba Kumjeli Nguti life is tough. So now she's def defenseless waiting for the arrival of something so it is i waited and waited but i went there okay but the next question is which way are repeated in the stanza the same machine waited and waited and the, the other one is yes and yes yes and yes passed on boom and zeggy good okay moving on to number eight Refer to stanza seven. Why does the speaker describe her father's dressing of her wounds uh, as practiced? Yinda ba ati i ubaba ke katem dressama wounds. It was practiced. So that and should it it was practiced because because you remember in the second stanza la mb zeko na umuta rabambe i pigeon i bambe is fuba when he was teaching so he, he said the question is why is the father's dressing of the wound described as practice it is practice because he, 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 he is used to it got the feature the pigeon so it's practice now to be to be gentle when he dresses excuse me when when he dressed his hair wound, like any male pot. All right. And then the last question it is the father is justified in emphasizing that life is the bastard. Finally, in the Asho, good life is the bastard. So, Ayelana, discuss your view. Life is the bastard. Discuss your view. The Ibiriako is open ended. We can say he is justified, but if you just give uh, uh, answer, uh, yes, it, he is justified. Uh, you are not going to get any mark. And if you just say no, he is not justified. You don't get a mark. You have to explain, quoting from the context of the poem as a whole. So you can say yes, the father is justified. Why? Because he needs to warn his, his child that Impilo is a bastard. Otherwise, they, he, he, she might live in a dream world that Kaba Mutsu Yonkindo is just honky dog, Yonkindo is just nice and pillow, and pillow in him. Or you can, uh, uh, Ngasho Pututi, Njome Mkombisuti life is a bastard. We are, we are still in some of life experiences, like chickens being slaughtered, in Joba, in Bidile, looking at the chicken being slaughtered, and also, when he was teaching up the the, the, the pigeon in that said to a pigeon by the melapon and also justified because why when he when he, when the, the, the girl's chest was moved or cut cut into operation so which is a good reason for a person to toughen up because when 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 the operation was being done to remove the breast because of the he cancer that she had with hours within a spectrum today. Oh, you can say no. You are not forced to put yes. You can say no. He is not, he is not justified. Why? Because you should put Uba Bakis and Faith. We would see a beggar. Because she was very young, that's why you need to talk it up. Life is a bastard and all that. So you can say Ubaba is not being paid because he didn't. He didn't have a person who was young. He didn't have a lot for years and years. He didn't have a lot of people who were young. Or he didn't have a lot of people who were young. He didn't have a lot of people who were young. He didn't have a lot of people she's made away which life is, is tough because of, of the nature of, of, of what happens to her which i was which i to deal with the pain of her breast being both dosed and removed so she ex eventually what does happen she experiences this bad thing and again, again, we would say, ah, 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 renewable the dress. And also, Uba Bakke put to change his mind in the end. We are, we are shinjum kondo Bakke to name Uba Bakke and stop showing his 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 street side. We are shinjum manje. Stop saying or showing that he 
Baba Ota, it changes because yes, we consider because now he faces reality to think that has been uh, operated. Uh, uh, thank you so much. We've come to the end of today's lesson. Uh, we hope to see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. 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 Thank you.